Good morning. I mean, most, most people usually start their Saturdays with a cup of coffee, maybe lie in bed. You're out there having a fist fight at 10 in the morning. Talk to me about the experience. What's it like fighting at this time and how do you feel it went in there? Uh, fighting this time is pretty much normal to me because we train pretty much at this time. So it's nothing new. You know, I just, it's got a, it's like another day, Friday sparring. So what's, uh, I noticed the leg. How bad are we hurting over there? I checked the kick, man. Like I checked him twice and third time I was like, I'm not going to check it no more. Just, <laughs> shit hurt. <laughs> How do you feel about your performance, man? I think that's one of your best I've seen in the UFC. You had a great jab. You had a great teep. How do you rate yourself? And how oh, man, you I, I feel really good. Like, I was actually like my last fight wasn't I wasn't all there. I had a lot of problems and stuff. And the, this uh, time I was just good. Everything was good, you know. So I went in there real confident. I heard your coach say to you that you they, they wanted to see you enjoy yourself out there, get into a bit of a flow. Did you feel were you having fun in there? Yeah, I was. You know, I was just, just throwing that jab, and he was throwing. He was telling me to throw everything in the middle. So that's what I was trying to do: just throw everything in the middle. And so. When you fight a guy from Georgia, I, I kind of imagine you expecting him to throw, go for takedowns, go for wrestling. Was that a, a, was part of your preparation in this fight, or did you just think, oh, I'll go out there and see what happens? Uh, pretty much. Uh, we worked in wrestling all the time, so it just I don't really get nervous about that because I'm always throwing knees, so I know a wrestler is going to think about twice the shooting and stuff. So, How, uh, how long do we think this is going to hurt for? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when would you, it, obviously, once that's better, when would you like to get back in there? Um, as soon as possible, just talk to my coaches and managers, see what they say and stuff. Anyone in particular? Mm, no. Cool. Good job out there, man. Thank you. I believe you came in as a, as a big underdog in this one. And even though we came in, it was a, a short sort of notice swap of opponents. But when you come in as the, as the underdog, does that give a, a little extra fire, a, look, a extra flame to kind of come out there and want to put something on your opponent? Mm, yeah, a little bit just... Kind of gets me mad because I'm like, damn, I've been here longer and this guy's barely coming in and I'm the underdog. So it's just like, it's kind of a little bit disappointed, but see, that's a, I guess, that's, I guess they don't think I have wrestling defense and all that. That's pretty much how I work on wrestling and stuff like that. So. And I know you mentioned in the past, you know, uh, the last fights and stuff, it just things, things had went wrong, whether it be the weight cuts and other stuff. This whole fight week, you look fantastic, and I think we saw it in the thing. You came in, you were right on 135. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was good. I actually made way to, I think it was like eight thirty in the morning. I mean, eight thirty in the afternoon, the Thursday. Yeah, so it was it was pretty. It went smooth, and so was this something that you learned from prior ones, or was this just felt like everything's dialed in and 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 something switched that this this fight camp and leading up to this everything just went perfect, or did, was it a mental change or something that you did after the past fight? I just had a when my coaches talked to me and stuff. My coach Marco got mad at me. And just, <laughs> <laughs> keep that weight down so that's what I did and it just pretty much yeah is that the kind of thing that that that, that you need you need that you need that voice riding on you saying all right to keep you in check yeah, uh, yeah pretty much well, pretty much anything he says kind of get nervous and stuff so. <laughs> well he is a very impressive very scary man um <laughs> did that do anything for you with the, the the opponent change I mean did that change anything for game plan change anything for your preparation mm -hmm. um or was that maybe exciting because it was a, a short notice and you know you just kind of got to go out there and just have fun honestly not really just because at the gym we worked on we work on everything there's no there's no we just work one time we just work the jiu-jitsu wrestling we work everything all week we work striking wrestling jiu-jitsu so clinch so that's how we do all the time so it's not nothing new if we're going to wrestle, we're going to strike. So it's just everything. So do you feel you've turned the page? you think the next fight we're going to see this momentum hang on, coming in weight on point, and striking going to look as strong as ever? Do you feel like this is maybe a new version of you that we're going to see yeah. moving forward? Yeah, I feel like I'm getting uh, better and better and stuff. So, Awesome. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Hi there. This is a little slightly off topic, but I'm curious what you guys think. Um, you know, the main event, the talk was all about Paulo Costa and his weight. Um, you know, as a fellow fighter fighting on this card, what do you think about him, you know, being able to change his weight twice? I, I don't think he's not professional, you know, like, that's like, yeah, that's not, it's 205, so, yeah, that's not like five pounds, 10 pounds, it's like a big difference, so. Yeah, I'm not really roofing for him. So. Do you think we're going to start seeing fighters doing that more often now that we've seen it done? Mm, probably not. You know, they're not going to let it slide. You know, I don't think they are. And was there talk kind of at the fighter hotel about it, or do you think maybe the media was just making the 
make it a little bit more than it was. Mm. I don't really, I don't really know. I kind of don't even pay attention. No one else just focus on myself, and it's pretty much. Thank you. You're